What's up, guys? Welcome to SC Reefer. I'm Chris. In this episode, I want to talk about ick. So, last year, when I purchased this tank, I put it together, cycled it. I was like super excited about getting fish put into this tank. So I went out, went online, purchased fish from liveaquaria.com, all these different places. Put them in the tank. What do you know? I get ick, marine velvet. Had about 25 fish in there, wiped them all out. Lesson learned. Now, if you order fish online, you should definitely, definitely quarantine that fish. And this is, I'll give you two reasons why. Number one is you can't visually inspect it. You don't know what you're getting. And number two, you don't know what kind of shape that fish is in. You don't know if it was eating before it left the facility. The thing has been bounced around, upside down, shaken around for almost 24 hours before it reaches your home. The thing's in bad shape. So yes, I would say quarantine the fish. Now, once I got marine velvet and ick, it wiped out my whole tank within days. Everything was dead. Scooped out all the fish, went fallow for about almost three months. So this time around, I purchased every fish from my local LFS. And this is what I did. I went into my local LFS, which is Nemo's Reef, up in Matthews, North Carolina. The guy, Kevin there, great guy. I go in and I say, Kevin, I'm looking to purchase, let's just say this nice big yellow tank fish here. Kevin, I want to purchase a tank fish. He goes, okay, I have this one here, this one here, this one here, this one here. I said, Kevin, please feed each one of these fish. No problem. Feeds each one. I visually inspect them. I make sure it's eating and very active. And the one that's eating the most and very active, that's the one I pick and take home with me. This time around, again, I did not quarantine. I know I'm going to get tons of replies to this video. You're crazy if you don't quarantine. You're crazy if you don't quarantine. But I'm going to give you a little story here. So this time around, yes, I did that, and I did it very slow. Every three to four weeks, I would, it's mostly every three weeks, I would go back and purchase one or two more fish. The reason that is is because I didn't want to basically get this huge bio load that my tank cannot support, and, and that can also be devastating as well. So I did it slow. I let the fish acclimate, went out and purchased another one, let the fish acclimate. Now, every single fish in here, I did not quarantine. I purchased it at my local LFS, visually inspected it, and every single fish here I saw eat, and I brought home, acclimated it to water for maybe about 30 to 45 minutes, popped it in, never lost a fish, fish never got ick, every single one survived, no problems. Now here's a story on this blue hippo tang that you see there. That fish was Tristan, Tristan's fish from Tristan's Reef. He calls me up, he's like, dude, this was, you know, last year, six months ago. He said, dude, I'm putting together this 350 gallon build. You know, I, I want to get rid of this fish. Do you want this fish? I said, yeah, absolutely. I go to his house, I inspected his own tank, his old tank. I said, man, all these fish are so fat and healthy. Everyone was eating. Beautiful, right? I take the fish home, acclimate them, only for about 15 minutes because my parameters and his parameters are about, about the same. Pop them in, no issues. Feed, feed them, boom, right away he starts eating with the rest of the fish. Wake up the next morning. I'm looking closely at him. He's got white dots on him. I'm looking. Fish has ick. I call up Tristan. I said, hey, Tristan, man, I don't have ick in my tank, but as soon as I put, the, and I know there was no ick in your tank, but when I put in here, woke up the next day, fish got ick. He's like, don't worry about it. Just keep feeding it heavily. 
his immune system maybe could have went down a little bit just for the transfer, whatever. I said, all right. Fed him every day. Feed, like I feed my fish every day, three, four times a day. Within a week, he fought the ick off, and I haven't seen ick present in my tank since. In my opinion, I think ick is present in everyone's tank. I think ick is a bitch when one of your fish is not eating or gets weak and gets that parasite. So as long as you keep your fish healthy and happy and keep them well fed, I don't think you'll have any issues with your fish at all. Now, like I said, if you get fish from the outside, from, from uh, Live Aquaria, any of these places, yes, I would definitely, definitely quarantine. Tristan from Tristan's Reef, even in his new 350 gallon build, if you go over and check out his channel, his tank looks like it's been running for years and that thing's only running for six months. It is absolutely beautiful. Every single fish in his tank came from Nemo's Reef as well. No one has ick, everyone's fat and healthy. So that's my story, guys. I just wanted to educate you guys. So the moral of the story here is buy fish, inspect them, ask your local LFS to feed them in front of you, make sure they're eating. A fish may look healthy in the store, but it may not be eating. And take your time putting them in. Every few weeks, put in another, put in another. And before you know it, your tank will be pretty much, you know, full of fish. Just take your time. Be patient. I know it's hard. I know people like to set up new tanks and they just want to start throwing corals in there and throwing, you know, fish in there. And patience is the key, man. Patience is the key to this hobby. And uh, I've always known that, but I never had a tank, you know, this size. I was super excited, you know, to get it up and running. But... You know, you will fail if you do that. You may not, but I would say 90% of the time you will. Anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by and listening to my boring voice. And I'll definitely see you on the next one. Talk to you later.